Dr. Dharmendra Patel from the Division of Cardiovascular Medicine at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga discusses his article entitled, Prediction of All-Cause Mortality by the Left Atrial Volume Index in Patients with Normal Left Ventricular Filling Pressure and Preserved Ejection Fraction. It will appear in an upcoming issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Left atrial enlargement is a significant predictor of cardiovascular outcomes and all-cause mortality. However, it is not known whether left atrial enlargement predicts all-cause mortality in patients with estimated normal LV filling pressure and preserved LV ejection fraction. The objective of this retrospective study was to describe the prevalence of left atrial enlargement and its association with all-cause mortality in patients with normal left ventricular filling pressure determined by E to E prime ratio and preserved LV ejection fraction. To evaluate this, we obtained clinical and echocardiographic data from cardiovascular information system database that were recorded at Auction Clinic Foundation. 10,719 patients were selected for the study who had an E2E prime ratio of 8 or less and preserved LV ejection fraction defined as LVEF 50% or more. Patients with moderate or severe valvular heart disease and irregularly irregular heart rhythm were excluded. Patients with missing clinical or echocardiographic data were also excluded from the study. Left atrial enlargement was determined using left atrial volume index. The endpoint was death due to all causes. During the mean follow-up period of 2.2 years, 479 or 4.5% patients died. After analyzing data, we found that in the univariate analysis, with every milliliter per meter square increase in left atrial volume index, all-cause mortality risk increased by 3%. Similarly, in multivariate analysis with left atrial volume index as a continuous variable, all-cause mortality risk independently increased by 1.5%. Further, we divided these patients into four categories by left atrial volume index. Normal, which is LA volume index 28 or less, mild 29 to 33, moderate 34 to 39, and severe 40 or more milliliter per meter square. After adjusting for covariates, compared to patients with normal left atrial volume index, patients with moderately and severely increased left atrial volume index had 34% and 65% increased risk of all-cause mortality, respectively. No such difference was observed between normal versus mild LA volume index categories. Similar to the multivariate analysis, Kaplan-Meier survival analysis by LA volume index categories revealed statistically significant worse survival in patients with moderately and severely increased LA volume index compared with those with normal LA volume index. Based on these findings from a retrospective study of a large clinical cohort of patients, we concluded that in patients with Doppler-derived estimated normal LV filling pressure and preserved LVEF, LA enlargement was independently associated with an increased risk of all-cause mortality. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.